Is this fragrance actually trash? Let's review it now and find out. Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel where I upload weekly fragrance content. So you already know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also be sure to follow me over on my Instagram page. So today we are reviewing my first fragrance from the house of Etat Le Bray, the orange, which is a crazy name to pronounce. And this of course is I Am Trash. And I believe this is the most popular from the entire house. At least the fragrance I have heard the most hype about. And it probably has to do with that name. That is a controversial name, guys. Either assuming that this fragrance sucks, it's garbage, it's complete trash, or it's actually made out of trash. Of course, I'll break that down a little bit later. But first, I do want to shout out Euro Perfumes for sending this over for review. They are actually the distributor for Etat Le Bray d'Orens into the United States as well as a bunch of other niche brands. So let's go over some information. Now this fragrance was launched back in 2018. As far as the retail price, which I think is pretty reasonable for a niche brand, you can get a 50 ml like I have in hand for $105, or you can get the big boy bottle 100 ml for $165. So honestly, not too bad when it comes to the pricing of this brand. Concentration is an Eau de Parfum, so it is a little bit higher on the perfume scale over like an Eau de Cologne or an Eau de Toilette. As far as the perfumer behind this one is Daniela Rose and Dreer. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But I actually do know her from creating the fragrance called Prada Loam, which is one of the most popular men's Prada fragrances of all time. So you know she does have a pretty good resume and she also is the nose behind I Am Trash. With all the information out of the way, let's look at the packaging and presentation you get with this fragrance now. So we are gonna be taking a look at the bottle because unfortunately my box is buried once again. You guys should see the box is down below. It's a complete mess. But anyways, you're not really missing much because the box is kind of basic. Nothing really special about the packaging when it comes to that. But looking at the bottle, it is a see-through clear glass. Of course, it says I am trash with the trash logo. You kind of have this target dart in the middle right there. On the bottom, you have your sticker with some information and a batch code, I believe, engraved into the glass as well. On top, you have Etat Le Bray de Orange. This is a Paris-based house. Nothing inside of the cap, nothing on the Adam module, but they do click in fairly nice. Just all in all, not the most special presentation when it comes to niche brands. In the top, you have apple, bitter orange, and mandarin. In the mid, you have strawberry and rose. And in the base, you have akigala wood and cedar wood, and this would be classified as a fruity floral. So let's spray this and test out the Adam module. Actually, really respectable atomizer with this one. It is pressurized, so of course, if you want to spray a little bit, you can. Or if you want to do what I do, spray a lot, you can do that as well. So let's go ahead and smell I Am Trash and actually see if this fragrance is garbage. So right away, it doesn't actually smell like garbage or trash. I just want to make that clear for you guys. In the opening, it is extremely fruity. But what Etat Le Bray, the orange, actually did, they use an upcycling process, which basically take old fruits that were going to be decomposed into the ground and the soil and stuff and kind of bring them back to life and actually make them have a purpose and include them in a fragrance and create something out of those old fruits. And that is the kind of vibe you get, especially in that fruity opening. But what stands out the most to me right away is that apple, guys. Now, it's kind of like an overripe apple where the apple is starting to become a little bit soft. It's starting to get some brown spots. That's the sort of vibe I get with this one. It's not extremely juicy. It's nothing really right like that. But if you like apple, you will like this one. It does smell very, very natural. At least like an overripe apple natural way. It's kind of like those old fruits that you really wouldn't eat just outright. Instead, you would like throw them in a blender and make like a fruit smoothie. Yeah, very unique opening, I have to say, when it comes to an apple fruity based fragrance. It's very different. Of course, you also have that mandarin orange and that bitter orange. Even though it's not really the main player, the main show of this entire DNA is definitely that apple. Very, very dominant. Yeah, it kind of honestly just smells like you just threw an old apple away into the garbage. That's the kind of aroma I get. That might sound bad, but it's not really that bad smelling. Very interesting. I think interesting is the exact word to describe this one. So once you make your way into the heart notes in the mid of this fragrance, you are going to get a burst of this very clean floral rose. Yeah, the rose is so dominant as well alongside that apple. I think honestly, those two main notes are what stand out the absolute most to my nose. But also in the mid, it becomes very soapy like. I think possibly that's coming from that strawberry. 
I don't know if I have some kind of like a memory of a soapy shampoo strawberry in my head, maybe from when I was a kid, but that's the vibe I get with this one. Kind of smells like shampoo and soap. But the rose in here, I love the way it's done. I think it's also from that upcycling process as well with that rose. So it might've been like dead rose petals or something along those lines that they decided to take and then throw into this fragrance because the rose is done in a unique way as well. It's not really like a romantic jammy rose, just very, very clean floral. But also that strawberry in the mid makes it very unique and stand out quite a bit. Probably never smelled anything quite like this fragrance if I'm being honest. So they do have the unique factor down packed. Finally in the base, it's not much going on. You're basically just left with a musky woody base from of course that Akigala wood and that cedar wood. I have heard people say they get Isoe Super, which it might be Isoe Super heavy as well, but that sort of smells like cedar wood, so it can go both ways. However, just very musky and woody. Now, I have to be honest with you, Etat Le Bray de Orange made such a unique fragrance with I Am Trash. However, I'm not really the biggest fan of this fragrance. It's just kind of like um, slightly boring and kind of forgettable. I know every time I warm this fragrance, it hasn't really like put a smile on my face like, wow, I love this stuff. I can't wait to wear it again. It is very forgettable to me. Plus, it's also extremely light and airy. It just wears very, very light on my skin. Of course, we'll talk a little bit more about that in the performance category, but just the scent profile in general is extremely light. But I would say if you do enjoy your fruity based fragrances, I think this should be one still on your radar just because it's a very unique kind of exotic take on a fruity dominant fragrance. I really appreciate that as well. It is like an artwork and I always associate fragrances with art pieces, guys, because at the end of the day, that's exactly what these things are. They're art pieces, masterpieces, and they are created by, of course, an artist, which is the perfumer. So regardless, even though I'm not the biggest fan of this fragrance as far as the scent profile and the way it actually smells on me, I still do appreciate the uniqueness and the fact that it is an artwork. So for the best seasons and occasions to wear I Am Trash, I recommend the fall, spring, and summertime. Definitely not the winter. There's nothing that is so potent or beast mode about this fragrance that would actually perform in the winter time and it doesn't really give that cold vibe about it anyways. However, the fall, spring, and summer, I think it will work perfect for, especially the springtime. This smells like spring in a bottle, guys. Of course, being very floral and fruity and airy as well, I think the springtime is the absolute best season. For occasion, this is 1,000% a casual, kind of fun, outgoing fragrance. There's nothing sophisticated, nothing formal, nothing kind of uh, classy about this scent profile at all. Definitely targeted, just kind of lounging around the house, maybe running errands, maybe hanging out with friends. Something along those lines where you're not actually dressing up, you're kind of wearing a hoodie or shorts or jeans or a t-shirt. That's the kind of a situation that is best wearing I am trash. And it's funny too, because you imagine like somebody give you a compliment on this fragrance saying, oh, you smell great, what is that? And you tell them I am trash. That would just kind of like start up a whole conversation in and of itself. So be prepared to start talking if someone does give you a compliment while wearing this one which I could possibly see this one being pretty crowd pleasing. I can definitely see the masses enjoying this fragrance and the way it smells. It's not that off putting. Don't take like, like rotten fruit in the garbage for a couple of days kind of smell. It doesn't smell like that at all. Just slightly overripe brown turning kind of fruits. It doesn't smell dirty or anything. So for gender and age groups, this is without a doubt a unisex fragrance. Like through and through, I can see a man wearing this. I can see a woman wearing this one absolutely flawlessly. Now. For age groups as well, it kind of goes along with the occasion being very casual. Definitely a youthful fragrance. Of course, like fruity fragrances most of the time do target like the younger generation, younger crowds, and that's exactly the vibe this gives off. Kind of goes along, like I said, the occasion being very playful, outgoing, and fun smelling. So if you're a teenager watching this, you do want like a niche fragrance, you could definitely check this out. And also, of course, if you are older, you can still wear it as well. Just at the end of the day, definitely and youthful. So of course, wrapping this review off talking on the performance of I Am Trash, and I think that is where this name represents itself the absolute best, is in the performance, guys. It is so light, so airy, and I just wanted more from it. Every single time I wore this one, I have been let down every single wearing, guys. I got maybe four hours of longevity, and then after that, it completely turns into a skin scent very, very quickly. As far as the projection and like CEOs and stuff, maybe an hour, hour and a half of somewhat decent projection just from that fruity top, it does push off. But after that guys, like I said, it comes very close to the skin, up to four hours of longevity. 
So it doesn't really wear like an Odi Parfum or how I expect an Odi Parfum to wear, unfortunately. And that kind of wraps around where I said it is very forgettable smelling. There's nothing that stands out about this fragrance and makes me actually want to reach for it more out of all the, the 400 bottles you see behind me. Still a great smelling fragrance. It's not really doing much for me personally. And I think the House of Etat Le Bray de Orange do have some heavy hitters like some ooze and stuff like that that I think are strong. I'll absolutely have to get my nose on some more from this house. But this one though is very, very lackluster in the performance, below average without a doubt. But to be honest, that lackluster performance might be because they are using natural ingredients when it comes like the fruits and, and like probably the rose as well. Very, very natural smelling. So that's probably why, because most of the time natural fragrances don't last as long as obviously a synthetic accord. That's why it's usually nice to have a good balance. You have that quality of the naturals and then you have that performance from the synthetics. This one though, I think it's using way too many naturals and that is it's kryptonite and makes it kind of like disappear after the four hour mark. Shout out to them for actually going outside of the box and making a unique kind of a different take on a fruity style fragrance. I think that is awesome the way they did this one. But that's gonna do it for my review of I Am Trash. Let me know down below if you actually tried this fragrance or anything else from the house of Etat Le Bray de Orange. I'm very curious and let me know your favorite one if you actually have. Besides that low, leave a like on the video, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see all of you back here in my next upload. Take care, everybody.